Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. Today I thought I would talk a little bit about code libraries, as in your personal code library, or snippet library, whatever you call it. That thing that you uh, lug around with you, and uh, that you hopefully grow over time as you grow as a programmer. Um, I didn't really have a personal code library for many, many years, like almost a decade. Um, because I spent that decade working on big projects professionally and I just completely ignored my personal projects and my personal life to some degree. <laughs> um, but in the last year or so, I mean coming up on a year soon, um, I've been building the Serenity operating system and I've taken all the things that I had that was sort of a code library and uh, I put those into uh, this thing called ACK in Serenity which is like this template um, library and um, and I've been adding new stuff to it and recently other people have been adding things as well uh, so that's really really cool so I guess it's not really my personal code library anymore but it, it did start as such it was born from that uh, but anyways, I, I recently had to start a new project at work and it was so smooth and convenient that I was able to immediately just take ACK and put it into my work project and then I had all this functionality that I needed, uh, that I knew inside and out and I trusted and I didn't have to uh, like go and look for some third party anything, I could just start using the thing right away that I was familiar with um, and I mean maybe <laughs> maybe that's not for everyone but if you trust yourself to write well working code then it's really awesome when, when you already have something that works that you know works uh, that you can just start using right away um, and especially if it's hackable like if you need to extend it somehow now uh, I guess I'm here to advocate a little bit for uh, for anyone who, who doesn't have a personal code library today to start accumulating because the sooner you start the better and the way that you start doing this uh, is that whatever thing you're working on right now figure out which parts of it are reusable and like that might make sense in another project and then sort of start separating those even if it's just in your head um, so that you think of those things as uh, as a sort of a building blocks rather than implementation details of your current projects, right? Um, and then if you can, uh, try to separate those things out into uh, their own classes or their own files, uh, maybe their own directory. If you're, if you're really serious about it, you can um, turn it into like a little projects of project of its own a little um, literal code library um, you don't have to I mean you can like you can have a copy of it everywhere but I, I really do think that it's best to have it um, version control and if you're if you're the kind of person who builds many small projects I think it makes sense to have your code library as a separate dependency that you pull into those projects but if you're like me and, and you just want to do one huge gigantic project um, then you know you just put your code library in there and then develop them together um, but so the, the the huge benefit of doing this and starting to do this is that um, next time that you start a new project if you're the kind of person who starts a new project you can just take your code library and slap that in there and you're already up and running right um, at least to some degree like whatever you whatever you had in there that was useful in the past in the last project probably some of it is useful now too and you don't have to redo that that part is great <clears throat> and another thing that's really great about this is that um, if you keep carrying your code library with you then you're always going to be tweaking it and fixing it and improving it right so over time it will accumulate bug fixes um, developer ergonomics fixes 
and probably performance fixes and like it would just uh, mature right over time and it is really really nice um, when your code library starts to feel mature like you can really tell when something starts to feel mature um, I was uh, I was really feeling that when I was using ACK in my work project and uh, I needed to make a whole bunch of hash maps and, and uh, parse some JSON and um, and do some, I don't know, like just using vectors and lists and all, all those kind of things. And I could just write the code and it just worked right away exactly like I wanted it to. And it's all because I'm so used to these classes because I've been using them in Serenity all the time, right? And that is really, really nice. And it makes it feel very good when you can just write code and you don't have to look at the documentation all the time. In fact, you never have to look at the documentation if you're, if you're really, really familiar with them. Of course, in Serenity's case, there is no documentation, but... Uh, uh, the code is the documentation, right? <laughs> um, someday we should have documentation. Not today. Um, but yeah, so I, I really do think that there's just no reason to redo the same thing over and over, especially if you're a you're a habitual project starter. Um, there's enough boilerplate repetitive stuff in programming anyway like you don't need to add more to your um, to your life by refusing to reuse stuff that you already made um, now I guess I should say that that I certainly think that everyone should work on any problem that they find interesting at least once just because it's fun right and it's interesting uh, like if you want to write your own printf, then go ahead and do it. Like I don't care if the standard library has a printf, do one yourself. Like it'll teach you something if you find that kind of stuff interesting. But don't do it over and over again. Uh, that's just stupid. <laughs> like uh, if you want to do it, like uh, like you want to do it today, and then a few years later you want to do it again, just to to see how you've changed. That's one thing, right? But like uh, remaking the same stuff for every new project that you start. I see a lot of people doing that, and that's just silly, come on. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess, uh, I guess those are my thoughts I had on that. So, thanks for hanging out with me on the commute. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>